Hi! Today I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin beanie hat for babies um, zero to six months. I want to thank all my subscribers and I want to remind everybody that's watching the videos for the first time to please subscribe to my videos and like this video. To make this beanie hat you're going to need a size eye hook a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and worsted weight yarn in two colors. I used the Red Heart With Love, and this actually says mango, but I think it's a great pumpkin color. And then I'm using this Red Heart Soft yarn, and this is just a green. So, to begin the pattern, You are going to make a slip knot in the end of your yarn, just like that. And you're going to chain 25. So 1, 2, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So there's my chain 25. Row 1, you'll half double crochet in the third chain from hook. So one, two, three chain, and half double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So we're going to do that all the way to the end. So half double crochet, my last two half double crochet. You should have a total of 23 half double crochet. Row two, you're going to chain two and turn your work. Now, to get this ribbing kind of look, what you're going to do is out of the chain, out of the top of your work, there's two yarn just like this. You're only going to take the back one just like that. So we're going to half double crochet as well, just in the back loop. So I don't know if you can see that. See the front loop is just still there and you're just gonna insert your hook just like that to half double crochet. You can do that all the way to the end. My last two half double crochet. And as you see, because we just took the back loop, we still have this nice front loop ribbing. You're gonna chain two and you're going to turn your work and then do the back loop on this row as well. My last half double crochet in my third row. You're going to chain two and you're going to turn and do the half, the half double crochet on the back loops all the way back again and we're going to have a total of 23 rows. On the 24th row, go ahead and do the same thing except at the end just do one, just chain one, not chain two. So I'll meet up with you at row 24. So this is the last two stitches of my 24th row. And at this row you're just going to make one chain. You're going to just chain one instead of two. Then what we're going to do is actually take the hat. As you see we work vertically and we're going to fold it like this and then we're going to slip stitch basically stitch it closed to make a circle. So to slip stitch you're just gonna insert your hook, yarn over and pull it through the yarn that's on your hook. So you're gonna insert from both sides this time Grab your yarn, pull it through, and pull it through the loop on your hook. Put it through, yarn over, grab your yarn, and pull it through again. Yarn over, and pull it through the loop. And you're going to do that all the way down the hat. You might have to fudge it a little bit to make them work together. So. Just be 
aware that you need to make sure that the end is even. So keep going like that. And here's my last slip stitch. And then you're gonna cut your yarn off, the orange. And I'd like to take both tails and pull them tight like that. All right, now there's the hat or the tube. Go ahead and take your green yarn or whatever color you choose for your second color. And we are going to single crochet all the way around one end of our tube. So I'm gonna take these two tails and I'm actually going to work over them. So insert your hook, grab your yarn, you're gonna pull it through like that, and then this end is loose, so you can just leave that. And you're gonna yarn over, and then you're gonna pull on that tail a little bit and cinch it down. You can single crochet one, or actually that would be a chain, sorry about that. And then we're going to single crochet one into here, just like that. Okay. And then at the end of each row, we're gonna do one single crochet. So we should have a total of 24 single crochet. So you just, there's two, and then I'm gonna skip over that rib. And there's three, four, and then you keep going all the way around. And I skip these ribs because you don't wanna miscount and add those as your add extra stitches. And you might have 25 or 26, but it, in the end it really doesn't matter, just as long as you have close to 24 single crochet. Arriving at the end of our circle of green here with the single crochet, you're not going to join with a slip stitch. What you're going to do is we're actually going to single crochet two together until the top here. So I'll show you how to do that. So with the next two stitches, we're gonna insert your hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull it through. Insert your hook in the second stitch, yarn over and pull it through. You'll have three loops, yarn over, pull it through all three loops. So we're gonna keep doing that with each two stitches all the way around. So here we go. So it'll, we'll end up decreasing as we go. And we're not gonna join when we get back to this end. You're just going to keep decreasing every two stitches all the way around until you only have five stitches left at the top. So it'll basically be at, the, at this part of the hat, right at the base. So you're going to keep decreasing all the way around. I'll meet back up with you when we go to make a stem. All right, so I've decreased until I have only five stitches. It's very hard to see, but there's one, two, three, four, and five. So this is the really tricky part, actually. I actually like to take my work and pinch it at the top to try to separate those stitches a little bit because I don't know why, but it's really hard to see. So from here, with those five stitches, you're just going to single crochet into each one of those all the way around. You're not going to join with this either. So it's just a continuous single crochet. And you can do this basically as long as you want because this is the stem. I usually go for about one and a half inches or so. That's how long this one is about, I don't know, maybe a little less. But you can just keep pinching your work in it. Just try to make sure to just get the one stitch because you can easily skip across and grab both. So.
so. Okay. So that's about as long as I'll, I'll go with this one. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is basically just snip off your yarn and just pull it through that last piece. And you can take your hat and your hook and put it up through the stem. Grab that yarn and pull it straight through. That, that way that yarn is hidden inside the hat. Makes it pretty neat, just like that. Okay, so that's basically, that's the basic part of the hat. And as you can see, it's really cute. It looks just like a pumpkin. And you can just curl over the edge. All right, so our next step is actually to make these curly cues and the leaf. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 